Hey, Algebra. This is Mr. Witherow again. Uh, today we're going to end up talking about slope. We've got a couple things that we're going to go through with slope. Today, this little video is going to talk about the definition of slope. And then you'll have a couple more videos to talk a, a little bit more about slope. Okay, first and foremost, slope. You should know that it is a rate of change, right? And the other key word here you're going to have to remember that it is a constant, right? Constant rate of change. That means that no matter what and no matter two points on that line, they're going to be uh, moving at the same change, right? No matter where on that line. So make sure that that's what is important. And if it's a constant rate of change, that means it is a straight line right? That's what it means. So there's a couple other things that we will do, you know, and how to find the slope. You can always remember that slope is easy and fun. Remember rise over the run. Hopefully you all remember that. We use this uh, on graphs. When we have graphs, sometimes we use, uh, really that's about, that's about it when we use that. Slope is easy and fun, rise over run. Sometimes we use uh, something like this. It looks a little funky because we have these little sub numbers. The key to these sub numbers are to make sure that it doesn't matter which way you have it as long as you are consistent. So this is the point, the y uh, part of point one minus the y part of point two, the x part of point one minus the x part of point two. We use this most of the time when we have two points. All right? And then last but not least, we have this thing, and this is where the cool math, math people draw little triangles. All right? This just means the change in y over the change in x. This is called delta. Delta in the math world means change. So these are the four things, or really three things. You've got rise over the run. You've got the difference of two points, the y's over the x's. And then you have the change in the y over the change in x. And most of the time, you use this one in tables. And that's what we're going to get to next. All right? Cool.